All right. Can you all see my screen? Yes, I think you can. <clears throat> so while I um, talk about um, OpenStreetMap microcosms, feel free to head over to this website, okay? And um, it's it's a live website. It's a development web a development version of of microcosms of of, of the entire OpenStreetMap website, really. Um, you will have to register a new account. It has no association with osm.org. <clears throat> okay. And uh, once you're in here, feel free to follow me along and play with some of these things. This is again, a development site, so you can um, do anything you want in here. Okay, so once again, here's that URL, microcosms.apis.dev.openstreetmap.org. It's also in the chat. Right. Great, thanks. Okay, so we're done with that. Um, I wrote out um, some notes for myself so I can follow along coherently. Um, so we did this. Uh, when you go to that website, there is a known issue. Um, I know that the map page itself looks kind of weird. It's only because I put a little header on uh, the top of the page to identify it as a development web a website. Um, and I also know that th there are some issues. I'll talk about them um, later. <clears throat> so really, what is microcosms? Um, it is, um, well, okay, so many of us run organizations of local groups, um, smaller than the nation, uh, about the size of a city, or even smaller. Uh, groups of mappers who like to work in the same geographical area. And I head up Mapping DC in the DC area. I took it over from Serge, who took it over from Kate Chapman. So um, it's been a good micro, it's been a good uh, local group. Um, I've been running it now for about 10 years. We've been doing meetups. Um, we used to do them more frequently in the past, about every other month. Um, and so every other month we would physically go to some location, um, take notes on the, on the area, including geography and points of interest. And then we would go to a cafe or a library and learn how to edit those uh, features and put them into the map. On the opposite uh, months, we would go to mappy hours, like real bona fide mappy hours at a bar. All right, so um, I've been using Meetup to support myself. Uh, Meetup, I think we all know what Meetup is. Um, however, it does cost the organizers $200 per year. So um, I think I'm done with that. Also, uh, personally, I feel like Meetup is a fine tool for just doing events, but it has no understanding of um, OpenStreetMap. And I think it could be a richer experience for those people. I'm also finding that um, the people who join my Meetup, and I have 400 people now, um, they, they're not that interested in OpenStreetMap and building the map into a better um, database. Uh, they like building maps, you know, building GUIs, but not, you know, um, data entry or uh, stuff like that. So, I, yeah, it is going, to, so this, this microcosm thing is basically taking the functionality of Meetup and dropping it into uh, microcosm, sorry, OpenStreetMap. Okay, so a couple of things. I just want to go with broad strokes here. Um, everything that you see on OpenStreetMap now will stay there. Okay, um, editing, of course, um, user diaries, those are fine, GPS traces, those are fine. Everything in your profile will still stay there. Uh, we're just adding a couple features. Um, one of the main questions that I have, and I'd like you to think about this too and give me some feedback, are microcosms um, only defined by um, geography? Or could they be defined by topics? Like some people could be only interested in um, updating railroad infrastructure. Or maybe there's a collection of mappers who are uh, support gay pride and, and they wanna support all the gay pride things in the world. So um, right now we don't support that, um, you know, non-geographical places, but we could. And I'd like to know your feedback on that. Um, I'd like to say thanks to the folks, especially uh, Clifford, who have been testing this already. Thanks a lot. You've been a great help. 
Um, and people are going to ask me, I know you're going to wonder, when is this going to hit OpenStreetMap.org? Um, I know that I have two months of work left ahead of me. But really, that's the low end, the short end of the stick. Um, it's much more likely that there's going to be a lot of kinks that we need to work out. Um, you may discover some of the kinks as we go. Um, and also, you'll see through this demo that the um, the the style is not great. Okay, I, I'm I'm not a I'm not you know a designer. I'm not a user interface expert. I'm really following some of the patterns that I found in the website already. Um, and I really can't introduce new styles because um, it would differ too much from what exists with the rest of the website. I think it's better to keep um, the website with a, a consistent style uh, design system. And um, in the future, we can make everything look better. Okay. All right. So let's go into this one. I'd like to see if anybody has created a microcosm already. No, not no. You guys just. You feel free to come in here and you can hit microcosms and then new right right here. All right, so I did mention that the map page looks kind of weird, um, but the menu is here. It's just shifted down a little bit. And this black bar in the top is temporary. It'll be taken out before we go to prod production. All right, let me think of, pull up some of the things that I want to talk about. All right. So let's go into mapping. Is somebody not muted? Maybe, maybe somebody check your mute. I feel I hear a little bit of background noise. Um, so right off the bat, we're gonna we're gonna start with a map centered in your area. It's a slippy map. It, you can zoom in and zoom out. Um, on this map, there's nothing really yet, but we will start adding in. Um, maybe um, some of the uh, locations of the members if they would share it. it. There's a privacy issue there. So maybe some people don't want their data shared like that. Um, but if it's in your profile, then perhaps we'll show it on here. Um, also, we'll show um, some of the recent changes. And this is, this is not done yet. I'm saying this could be done in the future. That's the plan. Oh, I, I'm, one more broad stroke, one more thing. Um, this feature is getting very, very big um, and getting a little bit of resistance from the OSM team. They don't want to introduce so much at, at, in such a short period of time. So uh, for now, keeping it down and things that are going to be added in the future will be added once it's merged into OSM.org. Okay. So I mentioned things like this. Uh, you may be wondering, why is there a map here? In the future, there will be um, points of interest uh, relevant to this microcosm. So it'll show some of the upcoming events. It'll show um, some of the changes that people made. Um, you know, there's a, a scaling issue there. And the diary entries of people, if they have specific places, like specific um, um, location associated with the diary entry. All right. Um, over here, you can see the location. This is a short description of the mapping uh, microcosm. Um, I'm going to skip over share. Um, it, it has me as an organizer. <clears throat> yeah, you say, why is there a join button? That's because I'm not actually a member of it. Um, so there's different roles. Um, users will have a, 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 an association with uh, the microcosm, multiple. They could have multiple. Uh, associations. Right now there's just member and organizer, but in the future you could be like the sous chef or I don't know, you could be uh, the helpers um, or maybe you're whatever. They could be, I just leave it open for flexibility of multiple roles. All right, um, so let's let's go through members and um, for me I'm the organizer so I get to see um, extra buttons over here. Um, like I can take Cliff and I could say, um, Cliff is really an organizer. Okay, so now Glassman shows up here, which is Cliff. Um, I changed his role, so he's not a member anymore. And that's actually kind of interesting. Maybe, maybe that's a bug. All right, and then I could also boot people out. 
All right, let's look at some of the uh, events. Um, we break it up into two categories. There's upcoming events and there's past events. I know that some people started creating events in the past just as a test, um, and I fixed that bug. Um, so my upcoming events are Play Animal Crossing and then Hack on OSM. Um, and let's look at one of the events. So this happens down in Alexandria, where I live. Um, this is just an event page. Um, over here on the left side, well, at the top, you would see some basic information. And you can click, yes, you're going, or no, you're not. So right now, zero people are going. And then now I'm going in one person. Uh, on the left side over here, this would fill up. It would fill up maybe one or two horizontally, and then it would go down vertically. And then on the right side, um, you would have the location of the event, and then, uh, again, another map. OK, so that's that. And that's the events. These are just, um, just the future events here. So this feature is about what change sets happened in your microcosm's area of influence or area of um, interest. <coughs> now, the interesting thing about it here is that we're starting to mark which, when people make changes, they can mark them as, I would like somebody to review my change. I think it's a great feature. And I think that's the role, or it could be the role of a microcosm. <clears throat> so the people, the members of this microcosm could come across this change set and be like, oh, this guy wanted some change, some um, review. So let's open that up in a new tab. And what did he do? Uh, okay, it's a dot. It's a dot right here. He added a baseball diamond. <clears throat> the question is, should this be a way or a node? So you can start a, discuss a discussion here with that person, or um, we could in the future link over to better tools like OSM Chop. Okay. Um, right at this time, I don't know how these um, review requested change sets are um, resolved, if they're resolved in any way. Um, feel free to uh, chat me later. Uh, so that could be change sets there that review has review requested. And then these are the diary entries. Oh, I'm sorry, let me go back one thing. The, the recent changes are defined by a geographical region, okay? The diary entries are defined by the members of your um, change set. Even if like Joe user writes about Paris and puts the thing in Paris, it's about, um, it's going to be about it's going to be listed here because Joe is a member of your microcosm. All right, um, let's see. Let's see if I can join. Okay, I joined. Um, so now I'm showing up down here. All right, let's see. Let me get my notes. Um, I can see all members. Um, let's see the entries. I think I, everything I wanted to talk about I covered here. <clears throat> Oh, and let me just mention there, there is functionality. So you go to events and since I'm the organizer, I can add a new event. Um, let's give it a title, um, map B hour. Um, it's tonight. Oh, let's put it in, that's fine. How do I do this? I guess I have to type it in now. Let's make it in the future. Okay. The location is everywhere. And the location URL, it wants a real URL. Um, I don't know if it's mandatory. I'll look up, a, I'll look that up. It's probably not mandatory. So here's a cool thing. So down here, um, this is supposed to be an arrow. It's not working on this uh, development site. But we can zoom in. So we're going to go to Lexington. And you can zoom in pretty far. Oh, I should zoom into that city that the guy said he was working on. And I'll create my event. All right, so there it is. Pretty easy to create events um, with their location. I'll go to that. All right, uh, let's
let's see what else. Um, okay, so there, this microcosm is mapping DC. It has a collection of events in a database called a table called events, but you can see them all. So you, up here in the menu, there's a new a new item called events, and it lists out all future events. Um, so I know that there's some discussion in the community about how does this work or compete with OSM Cal, the new calendar. And um, honestly, I didn't know about OSM Cal until about a couple months ago when there were micro grants awarded. Um, so that's really when I, uh, I saw the first sign of it. Um, I have no interest in competing with this guy um, or this website. In fact, I think they could work well together. Um, these events could um, easily have an API and become a source of information for that calendar. Um, I think that could work out pretty well. Um, the interesting thing about this, well, I mean, yeah, that's good. All right, so as you, as you have any questions, please remember to just take notes and I'll get to them quickly. I think, let's see, da da da. Um, Chain search reviewed, can go to OSM Cha, can RSVP for an event. <coughs> and uh, as an organizer, you can also edit the details of the microcosm. So there's mine. Of course, this is uh, just plain old crud. <coughs> but maybe let's say OpenStreetMap is getting a little bit wider in scope. So their minimum latitude, maximum latitude, and the, their bounding box here. So I can zoom out a little bit. And those numbers will update. <coughs> okay, so the where this comes into play is um, in measuring the change sets that are considered your area of influence. Uh, I think we'll make this more of a square in the future, but um, you know this could be any change set that happens in this area could pop up as um, something that you need to focus on. Right, there are lots of um, flash alerts so to let people know that they, their actions were successful or, or uh, a failure. And I think that's about it. Let's see, working out some of the kinks. Okay. <clears throat> um, why is this going to take another four months to get onto prod? Uh, well, there's a lot of things that I really haven't thought about. Like what happens if a user's display name is 100 letters long? What sort of effect is that going to have over here or down here or over here? Like, what is the UI going to look all right? Um, or questions like, what if somebody puts in 300 events? Is this still going to be usable? Should we cut it off at um, anything beyond a month's time? Um, other questions like, somebody can create a microcosm that right off the bat is spammy. So since this is open to um, anybody, anybody can start creating a microcosm. Um, so you could just go over here to new and just create your own microcosm. Uh, it, could, it can contain spam right off the bat. So how are we gonna filter that out? Um, I have a couple ideas for that one actually. Um, my idea is uh, start out with it existing and it gets a URL like this, but it's not listed in the index over here. It's not, it's not really publicized. Not until, um, you know, some threshold is reached, like it has five users, five real users. Okay. Let's see, what other things that I have? Oh yeah, okay, so given, given a microcosm, what is the maximum area that, um, that they should allow? Should we allow it to be like, should we have a microcosm for all of the United States? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's really useful, but um, you know, once again, if we're going with those non-geographic um, microcosms or groups, then maybe that does make sense. Um, yeah, how to prevent abuse by non-spam. Okay, so since this is a free utility um, to do event planning and organizing, there might be non-OpenStreetMap uh, event uh, groups that are interested in using this. Um, so like, I don't know, PTAs or something like that. Um, would we, 
would we try to filter them out? Like, would we try to have only organizations that truly use OpenStreetMap? I mean, that's not a really decision for me to make, but um, we'll have to codify that somehow. All right, so I talked about the kinks. Um, uh, 2.0, AKA after the merge, a um, lot of features coming in. I know that um, people who have been doing testing already have already given a lot of good feedback on, on what they want. And I wish I could just start hacking on that, but um, honestly, no new features until it gets merged. So really this is just about bu finding bugs. And um, I'm also writing automated tests for every little feature here and every little use case. So I've got a fair bit of um, more testing to do. Um, another nice feature, uh, this one came from Cliff, I think. You know, you've got a group of members here. It would be nice to just blast out a message to all of them saying, hey, did you see about the new construction site on the mall or whatever, National Mall. Um, welcome new users. So we've talked about this a lot. I think there's some functionality in place, but um, another nice thing to show up on this map maybe is the location of a new user. They are new, they haven't joined your microcosm yet, but they could be listed, say down here on the bottom right, and one of your members could be able to send out that welcome message, which I hear is very effective at um, keeping, uh, sustaining their interest. Um, I think I'm going over time, so I'm gonna try to wrap it up real quick. Um, user profile, oh, so you know, up here in the user profile, up in here, there's nothing that says that you're a member of a microcosm yet or on your own personal page. Uh, there could be. Uh, posting to social media with a single click. It would be nice right about here on this page with a, an organizer can click on a link and it would blast out uh, messages to um, Facebook, Twitter, whatever they would like. <clears throat> And um, maybe even do that on a timely schedule. So like two weeks before the event, one week before the event, two days before the event, and then one day before the event. Um, and do that in an automated fashion. Uh, there's really not so much good communication among the members in here. Um, Min was asking about, is this a replacement to mailing lists? And I don't think so. Mailing lists will still be there. I think they're a pretty good tool for within within a group, um, but I'm open to suggestions. And also events currently don't have any comments and they really do need them. Like uh, where exactly are we meeting or how will I know who to look for? Stuff like that, questions like that. We really need to get that in here. All right, I mentioned a couple known issues. They can be loca location-based or top topic-based. Um, change set review status is not known. Okay, so this is the perfect question time to open it up to anybody. Does anybody know um, if that status is recorded anywhere? Like once it is reviewed, is it marked as having been reviewed? K kind of. Uh, there's a way to, um, to tag any change set as good or bad. Um, and maybe that might be a way of reviewing, but um, I, yeah, I don't think there's anything more formal than that. Okay. I, I know you can mark it on um, on Osim Cha, but I don't know that that gets fed back other than as a change to comment. Um, right. Yeah, you know, th that's not a very good system. Okay. Yeah, this is wider than microcosm, so we'll have to bring that up with the broader community. All right, ahead of time, Min asked me some questions. I think I addressed most of them in today's discussion. How do you see microcosms co uh, coexisting or co-opting other tools in this space, such as OSM Cal, mailing lists, and Pascal Nisa's tools, such as who's around me? Um, okay, it might compete a little bit with who's around me, but I don't think it competes with the other ones. Um, and if Pascal would like to make contributions to microcosm, he's more than welcome. Does any, okay, so now I'm just going to open it up to questions. Um, I'm There's a go question there from the sidebar. Okay, I don't see the sidebar because I'm sharing my screen. Uh, can I get to them? No, I can't get to them. I have to stop sharing my screen. 
Oh, wait, here they are. Um, no, that, that's not, that's participants, new share, pause, annotate, chat. All right, I'm bringing them up and let's see. Let me just do a quick review. Okay, Clifford, uh, base map. How much time do we have? Not a lot. The base map was strictly with um, um, meetup, not, and nothing to do with yours. Feel, um, yeah, feel free to chat among yourselves. In fact, um, does anybody have an interesting topic they'd like to talk about? All right, I'm just going to start answering some of these questions. Um, does the recent change list, change set list show all change sets by members or just the ones that request reviews? Yeah, that's a good question. I can go both ways on that. Um, it's a scaling issue. I think some cities will have um, a tremendous amount of um, changes over time, especially if they're wider uh, bounding box. Um, I think for, we'll start with just review requested and then maybe open it up to more in the future. Um, of course, even if somebody doesn't request a review, they could still be putting junk in the map. And I think communities like mapping, I'm sorry, uh, microcosms could uh, improve that. Is the area of interest a rectangle? Um, for now, yes. All right, here we go. In the same way that a new user, new mapper can request a change to the review, can members request new events? Ah, um, right now only the organizer, organizers can create new events. But um, I mean, I think it's fine for a member to propose a new event. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, as the organizer, it's up to you. Like you can let them run with it or maybe you just wanna keep things kind of organized and, and periodic. So we can go either way on that. Um, can you order events chronologically? Yes, they should be. If they're not, it's a bug. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it. I'm looking for question marks and I don't see question marks. Does anybody have a question that I didn't cover? Um, I, I asked a question about, I didn't put a question mark in there, um, by, about a group chat feature. I think that was brought up on the call with our conversation. Yeah. So. Did somebody else chime in? I have a I have a question. I maybe you covered it and, and I I missed it. But what is the what is the hook into OSM Chad? How are you how are you taking how are you reviewing change sets in here? We're not. So all we're doing is letting the members know that there is a change set that somebody has requested a review. They could go to the change set page and do a discussion right there uh, with the editor, um, or. In the future, there could be some sort of better, stronger connection to OSM Chop. Got it. Thanks. And Cliff, um, group chat is that text-based or periodical, periodic voice? Or what sort of chat did you mean? I, I was thinking just text-based, just just like you know Slack or um, Telegram or something, where you where the people in the group could chat amongst themselves. Yeah, at this time, definitely not. Um, I think it would be a separate server too, separate software. Um, for my daughter and her classmates, I set up a matrix server. It works pretty well. Um, yeah, what else was I gonna say about that? The best I thought about that was we could maybe co-opt the diaries and have diaries that are specific to a microcosm. So they wouldn't appear on the normal diaries page but they would only appear within the microcosm. And in here, somebody could post a diary and then other members of the microcosm could add comments below it. So it would be a single thread. 
Uh, well, work. I don't know. They could work. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, I want I posted that at nine o'clock exactly. There isn't a question mark at the end of it, but there is in okay. the middle about filtering the list of events. There's no filter right now uh, in the list of events. If event names aren't mappy, living room could be anywhere. True. And microcosm names aren't mappy. That is meaningless. Is there a way to sort or filter by distance area? Uh, uh, uh -huh. I feel like worldwide that would get very uh, cluttered very fast. I agree completely. Um, yeah, it would be nice even in your microcosm to search for an event that is specific to an interest of yours. Um, although honestly, like if you look at some of these community groups, they tend to have maybe at most five or no, 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 maybe like at most, let's say 10 future events planned out. Um, so that's not too much to scan through, but if you want to do something that's uh, not geographic based and you want to search for um, an event that's happening like an armchair mapping event using map roulette um, that is nationwide yeah that's going to be harder I mean at best I mean you know this is a very underutilized feature um, the control F can we do it um, you know I can probably do a control F here and search for something marked down that's not too bad. If, if it loads the entire list into the page at once, then you're fine. But if you've got like the scroll, 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 lazy loading thing, then that kind of defeats control F. Absolutely, you're right. Yeah, we would need right, something. I, I also want to recommend too that um, uh, the upcoming events um, might just show event, if you've already subscribed to certain groups, that the upcoming events essentially just shows you events from groups that you've already subscribed to, as opposed yeah, to seeing the events of yeah. all the groups across the entire world. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I really haven't been thinking enough of, of, a, of a, uh, a mapper joining multiple groups at the same time. Uh, that's very doable, of course. Yeah, I could definitely see a little checkbox here. That's just only, only mine. Cool. All right. And any last questions about that? about this, oh, I should mention something. Um, there is a link on the top of this page um, to an issue tracker. So um, if you do find an issue, request a new thing, go ahead and come over here and then create a new issue. Um, I, I see already I've got a bunch, so that's great. Um, I'm also using project. So I've got a project called Fix Stuff and um, I'll try to move or march your tickets from left to right. Um, and that's about, that's about that. You can follow progress there. And any sort of feedback is great. Um, how does this work? Is it documented? Um, this looks like it's broken. How is it supposed to work? Um, it would be really nice if this did this. Uh, let me have it. You know. Uh, also, open to new developers. Um, if you're, um, if you know any Ruby, this is all written in Ruby on Rails. Um, feel free to uh, work with me on this. The way it works is, uh, I have a fork of OpenStreetMap, and then I work in a branch called Microcosms, and I push my branch up to up to them. And then over here on the main website, there's a pull request. It is around here someplace. There it is. Um, I must have opened this six months ago. Um, got a lot of feedback on it. Oh, no, no, these are mostly changes. But um, I did get a lot of feedback on it. Um, and it's been brutal. Okay, I think I'm done. Anybody feel free to uh, talk about their own topics. <laughs>